we are joined by Dr. Andrew Schwartz. He's a meteorologist and the lead scientist at Berkeley Central Sierra Snow Lab at Donner Pass. Dr. Schwartz, how are you holding up? Are you snowed in up there? <laughs> yes, it's quite snowy up here indeed. It's, it took 40 minutes to walk 50 yards to do the measurement this morning. So to say that it's a little rough getting around is an understatement, I think. <laughs> okay, yeah, that means a lot of snow if it, it took you that long to walk uh, just to get that measurement. And you measured the snowiest December on record, right? More than 16 feet so far this month. That shattered a record for December? That's correct. Yeah, the previous record was held in 1970 and it was 179 inches. And today we are up to 194 inches at our 8 a.m. measurement. So blew that old record out of the water for sure. And it looks like there's definitely some more snow on the way, as you were just saying. OK, let's talk about the snowpack. I've heard this in the past. We need the right type of snow for our snowpack. Are we getting it right now? Uh, we've kind of gotten a mixture of really heavy snow uh, that typical Sierra cement and then some lighter powder over the last couple days. With that cooler air moving into the area, we're definitely getting like that champagne powder that's really great, uh, great for skiing, but not quite as good for our water resources. But at this point, any snow and any precipitation is good. Oh, so you usually want more denser snow, not all the fluffy snow. That's better for the snowpack? That's completely correct. Yeah, anything that's more dense tends to have more water in it. Mm. It's a pain to shovel, but it's great for our water resources. So how much more snow do we need or can you even say because our, our, how much more denser snow do we need this winter before we can comfortably talk about being out of the drought? Like what's the measurement we need to see? So in all reality, we're at about 66% of what we would expect for the entire snowfall season. So at this point, we need about another 10 feet of snow to get us to where we would have an average snowpack season. Mm. After that point, then it can all go towards relieving the drought. Wow, so we have to get there first. That means a bunch of more storms, hopefully, what, in January, February, March? Exactly, yeah. This It's great that we've had all this uh, snow so far, but we really need those upcoming months to be prevalent with their storms as well and above average as well. If it stops right now, it's not going to do much to help us at all, and we may end up having just another um, low season, to be honest. Oh, wow. So we still need to catch up, even though we're breaking records this month. Uh, what about water restrictions? I mean, I know we need a, uh, we're like, what, two thirds of the way there almost to end possibly the drought. But do we have enough just to maybe ease some of the water restrictions and concerns? You know, I think at this point, best practice is to keep those going um, until we're sure that we're going to see a lot of precipitation to pull us out of this drought. Because if we start easing up on those and we don't get the snow or rain that we're hoping mm. for, then we're going to be in even worse shape than we are now. So, you know, cautious optimism for the future, but those restrictions staying where they are currently is probably a good idea. That is a very good reminder. Okay, Dr. Schwartz, a lot of people trying to get up to Tahoe. They're on Christmas break. They can't get up there right now. I've been reading and keeping posted and getting updates from the Caltrans uh, website. They're talking about avalanches and avalanche control. Uh, big concern with this latest storm that's moving through this week. Absolutely. Yeah, we've had a lot of avalanches up in the area. We've got a tremendous uh, danger for avalanches at the moment. In fact, the snowpack that was sitting there before this latest snowfall was primed for avalanche conditions. And so there's a lot of avalanche danger up here, not to mention the fallen power lines and obviously the tree danger as well. So travel up here at this point in time, probably not recommended. Hopefully here in the next day or two, Caltrans and the various counties can get things worked out and it'll be a bit safer to come up. Okay, they have a lot of work ahead of them. Dr. Andrew Schwartz with Berkeley Central Sierra Snow Lab at Donner Pass. Thank you so much and stay safe, stay warm too. <laughs> Thank you, Janelle, have a good one. You too.